All right, time for some more Elite Redux. I just beat this person. I think that's it. <laughs> it's time to continue to Full Arbor Town. All right, these guys. Well, we got a double battle coming up. I think I said I wanted to leave with Clawitzer and Raichu and hope that I don't regret it. I think, actually, Grimmsnarl is probably better. So I can intimidate and scare both of them. Spinda and Spinda. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, what nonsense is afoot here? Oh, shit. How could this have happened? <laughs> oh, God. Why is it the one time I try to... Oh, <laughs> oh no, dude. Am I... I'm faster. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> They're plus six special attack, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, well, okay, this one's physical. The other one's probably special, huh? Wait, which one? What is this? This one... Okay, this one's contrary. So this one is... This one's plus four, plus four, because I scared and intimidated it. This one is... Minus two, so this one's plus four. No. Yeah, this one's plus four. Special attack. But they don't have any special attacks. So this one on the right... The one on the right is not threatening. The one on the left is plus four special... Or is plus four attack. Plus two attack. Not plus four. Yeah, this one's plus two attack. Okay. Jesus. 140 speed? Why are these things fast as fuck? Well, I'm faster. So, oh god. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is Sucker Punch, the one on the left, and Focus Blast. Because I'm faster. He didn't attack me. Did they go for Teeter Dance? Just just one-shot both of them, and that'll be really cool if it, if it did. Wow, I, I'm actually surprised that that one-shots. That hits both. Okay, I guess it didn't matter because Claude's was broken. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was almost terrible. <laughs> if I didn't have Claude's out, it would have been over. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was the worst possible outcome. Right. There's a ninja boy there. Anything in here? Yeah, you give me the soot sack, but I don't think I care about that because I don't need the flutes. I get what they were going for with the soot sack, but honestly, it was such a bad mechanic. <laughs> like, just making you have to run in circles to get a bunch of soot for this thing, and it only works on this route is so annoying. And the worst thing to have to grind for. Not that it really matters that much, but, you know. Yeah, this is faster than me. Um, what are you gonna do? It's Vex. Poison Touch, Swarm. Plus one crit to moves less than 50 base power, plus one crit, and plus one priority to moves with 25 base power. And it's Protean. Oh. Okay. It's 194 speed. Uh, okay, so this is priority. I mean, it's already priority women. <laughs> this is high crit chance. He's not going to Water Shuriken, though. It's probably going to Energy Ball, which is... Okay, it's going to turn into a Grass-type, and he'll be locked into Energy Ball. So... He's going to... I guess we can go into Vivalon. I'm a little bit afraid, but he's not going to Water Shuriken. So, I mean, I have a Sash, so if he goes... If he does something weird, I don't know what else he... No, I resist everything else, so it's fine. We're going to Vivalon. And he'll be a grass type, so. Please do less than half, so I feel comfortable clicking uh, Quiver Dance. It should, it's four times. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I, I use a grass type. <laughs> and I keep getting myself into situations where I can't sleep powder. Greninja! Well, luckily I quiver danced. I mean, I guess I could have bug buzzed and it would have probably killed this anyway, but this is maybe better. I'm plus two speed, so I'm definitely faster than him. His life orb, it's speed boost, torrent, skill link. Oh no. Okay, I'm not faster because he's going to click water shuriken. Oh, it doesn't have water shuriken. Sick. Okay. Long reach. Uh, nothing too scary. Oh, great. My controller is still doing this thing. Okay. I I'm just... Uh, I'm just being extra careful and making sure that I'm not dead here. Okay. I can click bug buzz. As long as it's not sash, we're good. I mean, it's not. It's life orb. Now, the problem is he's going to go back into Excelgore, and Excelgore can click Water Shuriken, so I have to switch. Oh, he went into Weezing. Uh, I can probably just Hurricane this. I'm only plus one, though. What was that? Inflatable. We hit by Flying or Fire moves. Okay, well, I was going to use Hurricane. He has Heat Wave. I think I'm just going to switch. I don't really feel confident in my ability to one-shot this. So... Oh, wait, I have Sleep Powder. That's what this is for. <laughs> there we go. Never mind. Bug Buzz uh, is next. I'm Tinted Lens, so it still does a ton of damage. Um, the problem with Hurricane, I can't stay in. The problem with Hurricane, I've Compound Eyes, but it's it's only 89 accuracy. It's 75 accuracy, so it's plus 14. So, yeah, it's 89 accuracy. So I can still miss Hurricane, so I, I kind of want to avoid going for it as much as I can. Uh, it's going to Water Shuriken. Yeah, I resist everything else, so it's going to Water Shuriken. We go into Claude, sir. If it Energy Balls, I'm going to punch a hole through my monitor. And now it's stuck doing that, so I can just blast him. This is the last trainer on this route, I think. And I, can, I need to go back, so I can get my bonus encounter. Please tell me you're not sturdy. Give you light. Lead coat. But it's defense by 40%, but decreases speed by 10%. That's cool. Uh, but 10% is an annoying amount, because you always forget that you lose that amount of speed. But that's still a pretty cool ability. Contact news uses defense stat. I wonder if that works with defense with lead coat. Well, it's not sturdy. So I am going to click uh, the move that one-shots this. Which, honestly, is probably Hydro Pump. Uh, let me see what the rest of you have. Please stop going to the right. Stoutland, so yeah, that's a... Uh, God. This stupid... Oh, you only have two. Okay, well, I'm gonna click Focus Blast twice. This stupid, like, drift that my controller has is really bothering me. I mean, obviously, because it's fucking annoying. And I don't know what to do about it. I might need a new controller, which I don't want to have to buy. But well, whatever. I'm faster than this, right? Not my attack stat. Overcoat. It takes 20% less damage from special moves, and it has fur coat. And filter. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna live. I don't think I die to it, though. I'm not particularly afraid of it, so I stay in. Uh, Plots are much tankier than it lets on, <laughs> so I'm just gonna click Focus Blast twice, and I think I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. That works, too. Well, uh, hello, and good night. What? Well, luckily I'm sashed. <laughs> Does Intimidate block sleep? Oh, it has overcoat. It just said Intimidate. But, yeah, I'm, I'm bad. That's my bad for not reading. I can probably kill this, but I'm going to switch anyway, just in case I can't, because I'm afraid.
Statlin's really tanky. Surprisingly so. Is this guy still Route 113? Yes. Okay, well, I'm not about to fight them both at the same time, so let's just fight you. I can probably just Hydro Pump this. It's helmet, lead coat, giant wings, full metal body, battle armor. Battle armor is so good. But I think I just... Okay, counter. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't even have a real attack. So either he's going to whirlwind me out or uh, nothing. He's going to get Hydro Pump. Wow. Really? <laughs> uh, wow, okay. I mean, 20% less damage is a lot. But, wow. Impressive. <laughs> I, I'm impressed. I'm surprised that did less than half in any situation. This has counter? I mean, whatever. He's, either he whirlwinds me out, or I just get the plus six. So, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And now I click Rising Voltage, and you die. Wow. <laughs> what is this thing? I mean, it's not taking bonus Rising Voltage damage, because it's not on the terrain. It's not grounded. But still. This Skarmory is destroying me. Uh, I guess I just knock. Now, don't counter. Okay, you're just gonna be an asshole. Well, uh, goodbye. <laughs> and that thing is fat. Tankiest Skarmory in the Nine Realms. Now this, it's also not being taking bonus rising voltage damage, but I don't think that matters. I hope. It does have drill run and frustration. I'm pretty confident it dies, but uh, I have had my confidence shaken, so I'm gonna switch. He's probably just gonna drill run, so I can go into Vivalon, and if he goes for something stupid, like, frustration, I'll live. I guess I can just switch. Stop, please. Yeah, I'm just gonna- Stop! It's on- Oh, it's not- It's not grounded, so I can actually put it to sleep. U turn. Into two cannon. Normal moves become fire. And skill link. Okay. Fire boom burst. Great. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Well, I'm gonna really need you to not- Can you stop moving? Oh my god, this is horrible. He's either gonna Boom Burst or Rock Blast. I'm gonna just have to hope that I do not miss a Sleep Powder, please. Thank you. Now, I switch into something that can kill this without getting murdered. Uh, let me think. Or do I just stay in Hurricane? Hurricane should two shots, so as long as he doesn't one turn wake. Is this an early bird, right? No. Jesus, my thing is freaking out so bad. Um, okay. I think I just stay in. I think I'm in a Hurricane. Okay, I guess I'm bug buzzing because the stupid. That's fine. That was a crit. And he woke up. Great! <laughs> oh, dude! Well, if Hurricane wouldn't have killed anyway unless I crit. Come on, man. The one turn sleep, it was gonna get me eventually. I. That was not worth losing. That was just really bad on my part. <laughs> so terrible. Oh, why? What else exists? Just, um... Fero. This and Fero. I just Hydro Pump twice? Or should I Ice Beam? I'm pretty sure Ice Beam is stronger. 
Let me think. Hold on. No, stop. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this after this battle, and I'm just gonna use my keyboard, I guess. Um, stop. 50%, yeah, but it, it works with Ice Beam. So... Uh, Ice Beam is 180 power. 270? It's 270 power? Hy Hydro Pump is, uh... 165? Yeah, so it's Hydro Pump is weaker. So let's go for Ice Beam. Ugh. God, I really wish that didn't happen. I could have just switched into, uh... I didn't really have a good switch in for that at all. Maybe Runarigus would have been best. Yeah, that, that's just bad. And, okay, yeah, my controller is freaking out. I have to train up a new Pokemon anyway. So I guess I'll be using... I'm not going to use my last flying type. Corviknight's going to have to wait. Please stop. Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm going to find a new Pokemon and unplug my controller. Oh, I forgot I also have Mandibuzz. Um, that's pretty good, but I already have a bunch of dark types. And by a bunch, I mean one, and that's probably enough. Okay, let me take Vivalon off real quick. God, I'm so bad. I need to not be losing Pokemon this quickly and <laughs> this often. <sighs> Alright, what do I have? Appleton would be cool, actually. Uh, I don't know about a dragon. And honestly, Appleton? Appleton's not bad. I could go with Flapple too, but I think Appleton is probably better for what I need. Flapple's a good Dragon Dancer, but I have plenty of setup Pokemon, like in my box, I mean. So I think I'll just go with Appleton as a resist, and it's also just like really bulky. And I can heal my team with Leech Seed. Let me skip you and just go in here and buy it. Oh, Jesus. Bro, if you do this to me... Okay, you just want to go to Meteor Falls. Whew. My life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Hi. Give me a sweet apple, please. You have them, right? Yes. It is the sweet one, right? Yeah. I think. Well, if I'm wrong, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to look it up. If I'm wrong, I'm stupid. Let me uh, train this thing up and I'll be right back. Okay, this is kind of interesting. It has Solar Flare. So it could use its Chloroplast and Immolate, which means it always counts its moves deal damage as if they're in Sun, I believe. It doesn't work with Weather Ball for some reason, but I think it works with Fire type moves. So its Fire type moves gain Stab and then they're also boosted as if it's in Sun, which is really good. And also its Normal type moves turn into Fire ones, which is kind of funny. But it also gets unaware, and I, I'm kind of more tempted to do unaware, even though it's a bit more boring. <laughs> but, uh, I feel like unaware with Harvest Ripen is probably smarter than trying to run extra stab in the sun. Maybe I'll use Solar Flare? No, I, I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> I was going to say maybe I'll use it in Flannery's Gym, but I'm not going to be using Fire-type moves in Flannery's Gym. Honestly, I could bring this in Flannery's Gym, because it, it does resist fire. It's not weak to it. Um... I mean, it wasn't weak to it before, it was neutral, but it resists fire instead of stick fat. So, I mean, this could be a bring. But for now, I'm probably not going to run a fire type move. And, like, the... What was it? Uh, Chloroplast would be good if I had Solar Beam, which I can get. But I think I'd rather just have Giga Drain, you know? I, I think I just want to do Lead Seed, Giga Drain, Protect, some nonsense. Wait, I just realized... I don't know if Chloroplast works with Harvest. Because Chloroplast might work with Harvest, where, like, Harvest is always activated. Uh, I might have to test that somehow. I'll try to figure that out, but for now, I'm just going to remain unaware. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, am I the right nature? No, I should be, uh... Sassy? 
Or I guess, uh, probably not sassy. I don't really need to be minus speed. Uh, what's the other one? Up special defense, minus attack. So that's calm. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, it kind of sucks because, I mean, Appalach is a really good move, which is why I don't have Giga Drain. I also don't have Recover, which is also maybe greedy, but it's fine. I wanted to have Dragon Pulse so I can actually fight Grass types because I probably need this to counter them. Like, I, I was considering not having Dragon Pulse and just having Recover, but then I, it'll take me way too long to kill enemy Grass types. So I, I, I needed Dragon Pulse as a bit more extra stab coverage, and then I just have Leech Seed and Protect so I can stall things out and wait for my uh, Harvest to come back if I need it. It has Ripen, so I don't think I need Recover. As long as I'm below 50% HP, uh, I'll, I'll be full health. Citrus Berry will bring me to full health, so it, it's, it's really good. And I'm unaware, so I just made it max special defense since obviously I also have, I mean, I already have a bunch of defensive walls. I have this, I have this, and this can intimidate. So this is going to be mostly my special defense guy. I mean, so is Grimmsnarl, but, you know, we have two and two. Okay. And then obviously these two are the nukes. <laughs> I probably should take uh, Raichu off, I think. I think Raichu doesn't fit on this team as well, but I'm not sure what to replace it with right now. The problem is, if I don't replace it, I'm probably getting too stuck in my ways. And, uh, that could be a problem. Honestly, Azumarill could be really good. I have huge power now, so... It, and it has Sap Zipper, it'd be good for grass types. And this can't be burned if I go Water Veil. Hmm, those are both really good. I'd probably go Sap Zipper, actually. Because... Uh... Well, actually, Water Veil might be good, too. I, I, I want to go Sap Sipper because if I take this to Flannery's gym, uh, they'd all have Solar Beam. So, it just makes more sense. It's also Thick Fat. Wait, yeah, that's perfect. This is great for Flannery. But do I want to bring it now? Bringing it now might be good just because I needed to Aqua Jet things, but I, 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 would, I wouldn't want to get rid of Raichu for it because then I already have a Water and a Fairy type, so I, probably not. I think I'll just save that for Flannery. In fact, let me move it to somewhere where it's more visible. I'm gonna look at all my Pokemon before I, uh, go to Flannery anyway, but, you know, just in case I miss it because I'm bad. Because I miss Volibee because I'm bad. Oh yeah, Wishy Washy's still alive. But I don't need a Water type right now. <laughs> it's Pikachu. I can replace Raichu with this Pikachu that I care less about. The only problem is Pikachu's not as fast. It's really not as fast. This thing's slow as hell. I mean... 90 base speed is not good enough for what I needed to do, but Zippy Zap is priority. And always crits. Actually, you know, this is interesting. <laughs> and it's a physical attacker, which is what I need. Um. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go. <laughs> You're on the team. Raichu, you are benched for now because I don't want you to die. And I already have Clodzer as the nuke, so or as the special nuke, so I, I kind of need Pikachu as a physical nuke instead. I think that's fine. So first things first, let me. Oh, whoops. Let me train up this Pikachu real quick. Okay, this Pikachu is a bit weird. Uh, apparently, it can't learn any TMs. It only. It has no egg moves and no uh, like tutor moves. It can only learn the moves that it has in its level up move set, which is a bit strange. But, uh, you yeah, know, sure. Does he get any, like, other moves that I can use? Wild Charge? Uh, wait, Smite? Attacks from above with- wait, what? Uh, <laughs> hold on. What is this? Teach Smite. Smackdown effect. It's 120 base power. <laughs> Uh, I should I keep Splishy Splash? It's special, so I'm not sure if I really want it. I guess I need it for Rock Ground types, but Smite is so strong that I might need this. I want to keep the priority moves because I'm not super fast. I just does I'm I'm lonely nature. Yeah, let's let's get rid of Splishy Splash. That's fine. Maybe. Uh, hopefully I can get the other like partner Pikachu tutor moves. I don't know if those are around if I can get them, but whatever, I'm gonna stick with this. 
This is fine. I'm I'm lonely and not uh like adamant. Well, I guess I should switch to adamant because I just got rid of Splishy Splash. But I don't I I don't need my defenses anyway because you know this thing's gonna die to a sneeze. So it didn't really matter. But I guess now I'll just switch it to uh. Let's get rid of that. What you can put there. And let's switch it to uh, adamant. I'm usually gonna be going for priority moves anyway and. This thing has huge power with a light ball, so its base attack is 210, which is pretty good. I mean, you know, that's higher than everything else on my team, barring whatever boosts they may have, so... Yeah, it does damage, it's just that, uh... It's a bit weird. Sippy Zap always crits, and it's priority, so it's, it's not bad. I just wish I had some more physical coverage, but it doesn't get any, so it, this is what I'm stuck with. Uh, good enough for now, I guess. I keep getting my controls wrong, because I'm, I'm using keyboard now. I had to unplug my controller. Well, I didn't battle her, so... What do you have? What did this guy have? He had flying types? She's probably She might have something that synergizes with him. I don't know what, though. Earthquake users? I guess we just go into Claude, sir. Hi. Sudo Wudo. Uh, I can probably still blast this. Wait, no, it's a grass type. Water compaction takes half damage from water moves. Uh, halves incoming grass type damage and boosts grass type moves by 20%. No, it's still pure rock, okay. And it has 30, so I wasn't gonna stay in anyway. He probably has wood hammer. Yeah. Stealth rock, wood hammer. It's probably just gonna wood hammer here. I can just U turn though. So now, to take a wood hammer, that's what Appleton is kind of for. But I don't really like him stone edging me, but... Wait, does it have sap sipper? No, it just takes half damage from grass moves. That's fine, I can kind of ignore that. And it's not a grass type, so I can uh, leech seed it. Or I could just go into cat scratch. Which is probably better. I think cat scratch makes more sense. Maybe I should have leech seeded it and then gone into cat scratch, but... Whatever. A curse. Yeah, well, he has a stone edge. Okay. Well, let's do a couple of this. I mean, he set up rocks, but this is fine. One more. Okay. Now, I iron him. These just have a bunch of physical Pokemon. Four hundred and sixty-nine damage. <laughs> Larpuff, are you physical? Tell me your belly drum. It's unburdened, it's citrus, it's probably physical. Gooey pixelate, sticky hold. Well, oh, that's pretty strong, actually. Well, yeah, it has fairy type return. And drain punch. Well, I'm not afraid. But you should be. 800 damage. <laughs> Sand slash. You got plus one defense from your let's roll. Immune to rock damage. Tough claws, iron barbs. As long as you don't crit me. Well, even if you do crit me, I live, so I'm not really that scared. Iron head it is. That berserker's so good. <laughs> oh, fur coat is such a broken ability. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta go back this way. Let me head back to the front guy at the beginning of this route. Did I battle this kid? Yes. Let me go to the guy at the beginning of this route and, uh, get my encounter. Oh, I-, I oh, never mind. Oh, no. I didn't battle those guys. And there's some supreme- I keep hitting sound enabled because I forget which key I set to be start. There we go. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess we'll just do Clods or Grimmsnarl again. As long as they don't have double Spindas getting nonsense bonuses, uh, it should be fine. I thought it would be the two above and below me, but... This doesn't really make a difference, I don't know what they have anyway. I thought my game crashed. 
scared. Charizard and Weezing. Okay. Let's see. Don't have Drought or something. As long as they're not Drought, I should just be able to blast the Charizard. And Weezing doesn't scare me too much, I hope. Especially since they're both minus one. Uh, okay, good. Just some double battle nonsense. Salak Berry, Tough Claws, Levitate, Sun Worship. Ups high stat by plus one when it's sunny. <laughs> so it's Protosynthesis. It's Jolly, it's Physical. Okay, it has to set up a Belly Drum to threaten me. Nido King. Yeah, Poison Gig Impact. <laughs> um. No rampage or no recharge after a KO. Okay. And this is gonna be ignored. This has heat wave, sludge bomb, toxic. It might live. It hits twice. That's okay. That's a little scary. Deal with that later. That's very scary. Deal with that later. Okay. I'm just gonna hydro pump right now. Hydro pump. And if Weezing lives, I I guess I should switch, because he has Sludge Bomb. I don't need to stay in, because Charizard will die. Weezing probably won't. I think it will if I knock off. But Weezing's not a threat, so I think I'm okay with it staying in for a turn. And I switch into... Pikachu? No, I, I can't let it get Sludge Bombed. <laughs> I can go into Cat Scratch. Um, because... Do they have any other f types that beat Cat Scratch. As long as Charizard goes down, I'm okay with Cat Scratch being in. So let's let's do that. I probably should just knock off the Weezing, but I'm gonna leave Weezing in. If it lives, that is. Wow. Uh, I didn't think Charizard will live. Please don't. Oh, no, you can't Belly Drum. Please Belly Drum. Belly Drum, moron. Yes. <laughs> And Sludge Bomb, perfect turn. Okay, it couldn't have gone better. Uh, although Charizard is plus one now. Uh, I'm gonna Hydro Pump and check Charizard. It is plus one speed, but I mean, all it has is Fire Fang. It doesn't even have Flare Blitz, so I'm not scared of it hitting Cat Scratch. Uh, and I just curse. Just don't burn me, and we'll be Gucci. God damn it. <laughs> well, that sucks. That's really bad. That was a 10% burn. My favorite. Okay, what's in Nido King, which I'm scared of, and Greninja, which I'm scared of. Okay. So Nido King, I'm faster than Nido King. So I think it'll die. 75 special defense or 77 special defense. Uh, what was Charizard's special defense? Why did I go back? Charizard's- oh, it's a- it's a dragon type, that's why I didn't see that. Yeah, okay, Nido King's dead. And it has higher special defense. Nido King's dead, uh, let me see Greninja, please. Protean Torrent, Skill Link, Long Reach, don't have Bullet Seed or something. Okay, you shouldn't be able to kill, uh, you know, my guy. But I do have to switch out because I don't want to get Dark Pulsed on Cat Scratch. Other than that, I think I'm okay. Yeah. So let's Hydro Pump and switch. Yeah, we switch. For a Dark Pulse, and then this will also just ensure that Claws are safe if they attack me. If I go into Grim Sorrow. And it protects from Dark Pulse. Oh, he Dark Pulse Clawed, sir. Well, it's a good thing I weakened it. Just don't flinch me, please. Thank you. If that flinched, it would be the worst situation ever. Because <laughs> I'd probably get, get impacted and die. I'm surprised Greninja just died. <laughs> oh, it turns into a Dark-type, that's right. Fortress, which can explode. And Ninjask, which is faster than me. Okay. So... Let's see. Fortress is Custap, of course. Heatproof, Overcoat, Stamina. 
I don't think it'll explode turn one, but I, there's nothing else it can do. It's late game fortress. It might just blow up. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, but I don't think he'll blow up his teammate. Would he? Is this protect? It's a dig. They could dig and explode. I am afraid of Ninjask, but it doesn't have the damage boosting moves, but it's still pretty strong. Or damage boosting ability. I just... If I, if I switch any swords dances, then I think I'm in a worse spot. I want a Hydro Pump really bad. But I don't want to get blown up on. Well, Grimstone's Fur Coat, so I, I'm going to switch into Rune Regis. Because they can't touch it. And then I'll go in... Or not go into. I'll just hit this thing with a knockoff. Because I want this Ninjask out of my way. Hopefully the Fortress just... I'm okay with Fortress exploding if Ninjask is gone. He might just dig. Okay, so it's dance. That's fine. I can just sucker him. Sucker Punch still works even if he goes for dig, so... Safety goggles gone. You're gonna spikes. This is definitely gonna explode if Ninjask is gone. Because he can't do anything else. So I just... I mean... Phantom Force? I guess it, it's... Whatever. And then I'm a Sucker Punch. Alright, extreme speed. Uh, this is bad. Because if he explodes here, Grimmsnarl's dead. Please don't blow up. I really don't want to have to call the police on you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about extreme speed being faster than me. That's my bad, but it's okay. I don't think they can really touch me, so I'm just going to go into Cat Scratch. This might prompt him to dig. That's okay. I can maybe do something about that. Ouch. Okay, uh, that did nothing. <laughs> uh, I need Ninjas to be gone really bad. Can we please get this thing off the field? He's faster than me, so... It might just dig here. Yeah, if he digs here... Then that's fine, I counter him with Thunder Force. And... For this one, I'll just try to U-turn out. But if he goes for Dig, then, then I go into Appleton. So yeah, let's you turn out on Ninjask. No, yeah, yeah, on Ninjask, it's fine. He went for Dig. You gonna blow up? No, you're gonna Toxic Spikes. Okay, this thing setting up hazards is actually really annoying. <laughs> but this is fine. He's gonna go for Dig, so I'm just gonna go into Appleton. All uh, right. And then he'll die to Phantom Force. Not a huge fan of that. Don't blow up, please. Uh, I'm gonna go back into Cat Scratch. Okay. It was just trying to get every hazard up because he's a shitter. I protect, so I... I can't even really kill this. This is actually bad. Um, I want to Leech Seed this. Wait, why didn't I eat my berry? Did I eat my berry already? Am I still holding it? Am I at exactly half health? You're supposed to eat it here. That's why I was in even number HP. Wait, was even number HP bad? No, it, I think that's what you're supposed to be when you're citrus, because it should be at exactly 50%. But I guess that's not how it works in this, so I should switch my HP to odd. Uh, anyway. Let me... I can't do anything with this, but I can't switch, because I'm going to get blown up on. So I just have to stay in and slowly Phantom Force this to death. I'm going to protect here, so I can take poison damage and eat my berry, and hopefully it just blows up. Get off the field, please. There we go. Okay, that was weird. I guess it just happens on my turn. Well, now that I'm full of health, I think I'm confident enough to just Leech Seed. 
Now that I'm leech, now that he's leech seated, I can go back into Cat Scratch and not be afraid. But I don't need to just yet. Let's just do this and protect. Yeah, I don't think it wants to kill itself, so I think we're probably fine. <laughs> but just in case he does, let's, uh, did I just Appalast it? Yes, protect. He did. <laughs> Cool. That was annoying, but I didn't lose anything, so fine. Oh, right, we have one more battle. This guy. Wait, all. Well, you're gonna get blasted, I assume. Smooth Rock receives any damage. What? Receives any damage inflicted, shares all damage taken. Oh no. Really? <laughs> Come on, man, don't do that to me. Are you serious? <laughs> so if I blast this, I'll die? It has 160 HP. How much HP do I have? I have 149. If I blast this, I'll die. I'm gonna U-turn. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? Get me out of here. 32 damage? Yep, 32 damage. Okay, yeah, if I blasted it, I would have exploded. So let's go into something that doesn't get toxic. 159 HP. He doesn't have a ground move. It has rapid spin. It has 128 health left. So I can hit it here, or I can, uh curse and hit it. Yeah, he's just gonna be annoying. It, it can't do much to me here, so I'll, I'll just curse up so I one-shot it, or, or he switches. Because if I one-shot it, I'd, I'd live, so it's not a big deal. On tempo, blocks intimidate and scare, stamina, battle armor, water compaction. Same fish. It has counter. <laughs> of course it does. Oh. It's probably just going to high horsepower, but I am going to U-turn out. He should be faster than me, so if he goes slower, I'll know he went for counter. Okay. Am I going to Runarigas because I can't be countered? It's going to take forever to kill it with Runarigas, though. I, I guess I can just blast it. But the problem is, if he makes a Giga switch into <laughs> uh, Claydol, I will die. So I think I can go into Appleton. Appleton can live if Claydol comes in, and he also can't counter me. What else do you have? You have, uh... Oh, wait, Slack Off. Yeah, I can, I can just hit it with Apple Acid. <laughs> what a great animation. I like that. <laughs> And then I protect this turn, so I take Sandstorm damage and eat my berry. Wait, did I get my berry back? Okay, I did. <laughs> Just making sure. Because sometimes if you switch out before the harvest gives you your berry back, it's lost forever, right? Is that how that works? I always forget. Maybe it can still come back. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. I got it back. Okay. Then we do that. Heal and do it again. So good. So if I leech seed the weakness policy, strong jaw, growing tooth, he's going to ice fang. Not that I'm weak to that. Well, actually, I am weak to that. I'm two times weak to that, but not four times. Problem is, he's going to get an attack boost. And if I apple acid, he'll get two. So I think I'm just going to switch. And it's sand force, but that doesn't matter? No, it does matter. Because I think Sand Force is buffed to be every move and not just Rock Round and Steel moves. So this is actually terrifying. So let, let me switch out of this Ice Fang. Actually, let me protect once. Ice Fang. I mean, I just took damage. I guess that wasn't really worth it, but... <laughs> I can Intimidate him. I think Grimmsnarl is probably what I go into. If I go into Clawitzer... 
I think it probably dies if I go into Klotzer. He's not gonna Thunder Fang. And I need to deal with this as quickly as possible. So... I think Klotzer's my only chance. Yeah, I, I feel like Klotzer's the only thing I can do. But let me go check the calculator first. Okay, yeah, we went Klotzer. Everything else would get set up on by this, and is not doesn't do enough damage to kill it, and it also has weakness policy, so I just really need you to die, please. Thank you. Okay, what else? Oh, right. This thing. Well, time to run. I can U-turn out. Oh, wait, no, I can't, because I'm stuck in the thing. Well, I can't blast this, because I will die, so... <laughs> Let's go back into Cat Scratch, because I can out-regen it until I have enough health to where he's too low, or where I have more health than he does, so he will just die. And without me dying. Oh, wait, if you kill him, he you don't get the recoil. Okay, good to know. That's fantastic to know. It's not like innards out. Okay, well, there's no item around here, right? It's just these guys standing here. I think that's every trainer. A Dreepy! Okay, I was right. Great! Well, oh jeez, I keep doing that. Uh, well, Dreepy is obviously fantastic. Dragapult is good in, like, every scenario. <laughs> it does so many things, and it's so fast. There's no downsides. I doubt I can get Dragapult right now, but I'm gonna just level this real quick. I keep... I want to start. There we go. At least I can get Dracloak. Uh, honestly, Eviolite like Dracloak is not bad either. So, this could still work. It's still really fast. But I'm probably still not going to use this until I can get Dragapult, because, you know. Infiltrator, Parental Bond, and Kenai. Yeah, you're crazy if you think I'm not running Parental Bond. I mean, Kenai gets an accuracy boost. There's probably some stuff I can do with that. Uh, yeah, probably Parental Bond. Clear Body, Curse Body, Levitate. Yeah, that's all it needs. 102 base speed. It's not that tanky, though, so I probably don't do EV Light Dracloak. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna wait until I get Dragapult. But I'm glad to have you. What did I just... Uh, you. Not you. You. Okay, well, I think that's enough for now. Uh, we have to go... We have a few more encounters we can get next time. Um, I don't think I can get one in Falarbor Town, but I can get some, like, on the route to the left, or the right, no, left, <laughs> which is Route 114, and then there's also Meteor Falls. Is there anything else in this town? I think there's some stuff in this house. I guess not. Abandoned. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else important. This is the Professor Cosmo's house. And that's it. There's only two houses in the city. <laughs> but they somehow thought to build a battle hall here. Yeah, Route 114. Let me check the decks now. I'm not gonna... I keep doing that. I'm not gonna... Ugh, God. Yes, I keep hitting the wrong button every single time. So the water is Quagsire and Masquerade. And then this is the grass. Probably should grab Quagsire. Quagsire would be really good, but honestly, I'm gonna have enough water types. It's Hoenn, and I'm not even at the water section yet. And uh, I'm also greedy, and I like going for grass encounters instead. There's Dig, but I already have Dig, so uh, you know, thanks. I guess. Do you give me anything? You're the Fossil Maniac. Also, around these parts are for you. He just tells you to go to the desert. Okay. Well, 
yeah, I guess that's it for now. I'll continue and get my encounters uh, and battle a bunch of people next time. Bye.